Hi guys, we just thought we'd show you an opening video. This is a X25 360. We just wanted to go over uh, and show you how we, sh we like to open it anyway. Maybe Alan's got some great ideas on how to open it, but... We have differing opinions. Everyone does it differently. We start with a stairwell. There's just one bungee on one side now, and the new ones are all gas assisted. The door, the single lock. Two clips this time. You got the remote still? Um, I'll just turn it on, David. Yep. So these have an anti rattle clip as well on them as well. So do you want me to open it? Yeah, go for it. This is an electric one for us old fellas. Oh, don't it. The coal bag is just in on the, in on the entry, so I'll start getting some coals out ready. So we get the uh, lid to a vertical position, and once it's there, we just rock it over, right? And you can rock it over in a number of ways. You can push it from the other side, or you can pull it from this. Now the alternative to this is also the manual operation. So if you don't have the electric open, it just, it has a gas assisted strut. So you can lift it with the manual lifting pole up or down when you open and close it. So um, this has just got that additional thing on there. So what we're gonna do now, David, is uh, undo the bed end. Pull the 360 off the roof. So as you can as you can see, David's pulled it off off the roof, and he's uh, laid out the uh, holes for it. Um, what I like to do um, when we're setting up the 360 awning is I actually like to put the 360 awning out first. So we pin it out with the poles, which then makes it easier to lift the hoop up hoops up from the inside. Um, some people like to pull out the canvas, walk up the stairs, go inside, grab the hoop, and push the hoop into place and then come outside and do the awning, um, which you can do, it works exactly the same, but do you want to do it my way or do you want to do it your way? We'll do it this way. Um, when you're climbing here, you can't quite see what you're doing, but it does give you a chance to undo the elastics that help hold the tent. And when the bars are up, it is easier to put out the 360. But if there's two of you, it's quite easy just to put it out first and it does make it easy for you to see what we're gonna do when we go on the inside. So we'll, we'll do it, we'll put the 360 up. So, so what we do is we do the front, and the back sides first, and then we do the ends last, and that'll work in reverse when we're packing it up. I'll just show you how, we have a simple trick with these. Um, now, there is some tension on the bows, on the poles, so what I normally do is I just put them up vertically, and then I just sit them in there, and pull it down, and it eases in really easy like that. There's no straining or stretching on it. So then, same here. So it pulls straight up in the air, and then it clicks into there. It's much easier to do. And then you can do this corner at the same time. Straight up, and then in. So we go straight up in the air, in, down here, and then the last two on the end. So now we've got our 360 awning up. Dave, do you want to open it up on the inside for us? Yep, you come around. This 
bow's on a gas strut now, so as you lift it up, it'll actually sort of stay there. So I usually come in and push it up. I come across and disconnect the elastic that's taut on that one. Possibly I'll turn some lights on. There we go. And um, I push that back. I can drop that down. There we go, and the light. Then we get it. I disconnect these two center ones. They just crisscross in the middle. So it usually just picks up just before the light and slides down. One that side. And we're going to come around to this side. So that's the two sides done. My table is usually sitting behind my bed, so I'll just move that over here. I'll then come up here and there's another elastic here that I'm going to lean out and disconnect. The two arms have got elastics each side, which I'm going to disconnect. Then I normally bring the poles to myself so I can lift it up. And then it just goes up like that. And uh, they're attached to that end. I've only got to do the pole one side and you can see that, and then the other side. So that's they're pushed up. Now the bed flips away from you. And then you just push it up and along. It's on a Z bed format. You can have a sheet around that and slide it out. Then my table that I've got here. I swing my arm back here. Put my table back on. And you put it like that. So that's the inside setup. I've been busy while you're in there too, Dave. I run, ran around and put all the bungees on, so uh, that was a pretty easy job. So um, I missed one. Mate. I missed one. So basically, that's the 360. Um, as we said, there are some variations, and I think what it comes down to is it comes down to what suits you best and what's your preference. I like this. David likes a different way. We do have some people that will have a mix of, you know, some sides up, some down. So it's just a matter of playing with it. So ultimately it's, ultimately, it's about how many times you get out, open it and close it and travel around the place. So uh, get out there with your ultimate 360, Dave. And how many more X25s have we got? Still another, at least half a dozen left to go. So get your order in soon. See ya.